Hello, I'm Rob Westervelt, editor of IHS Chemical Week, welcoming you to the IHS World Petrochemical Conference in Galveston. And I'm delighted to be joined by Dave Witte, Senior Vice President of IHS and General Manager of IHS Chemical. Dave, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Great. Appreciate it. Obviously, a big, the big theme of the, uh, the conference this year is the new energy environment and the impact of lower crude. Uh, what's your assessment of how that's impacted petrochemicals globally? Yeah, well, obviously the, uh, the the crude prices have a very significant impact on the overall chemical industry in both the short, medium, and longer term. Um, and they're impacting them both from a supply-demand standpoint and from an earnings standpoint. And so what we see is that the short-term impacts, because of crude dropping, is generally a destocking of the value chain from chemicals on downstream. Um, because the expectation is that uh, tomorrow's prices will be lower than today's, buyers generally will wait to purchase and be living off of their own inventory and really only uh, buying the minimum possible in order to be able to meet their downstream customer demand on kind of a steady state basis. And as you compound that down through the value chain, it can have pretty significant short-term impacts on the overall uh, demand level and, and the overall production level. So that tends to weaken uh, the short term. Um, but in the medium term um, and in the longer term, we see this sowing the seeds for uh, improved demand picture because what happens is that the two basic drivers of chemical demand, including substitution of, uh, of chemical products for conventional materials like glass and aluminum and steel and paper, um, is accelerated when the relative prices of chemical products compared to those products changes. So what's happened with crude oil dropping is that price difference is, has, uh, has gone up and that increases the demand. Second thing is that there's an overall uh, improvement in the overall global macroeconomic picture and as the GDP accelerates, the macro, macro picture accelerates, um, chemicals demand grows because it's chemicals products are so embedded into overall uh, portions of the economy. So the demand side is hurt in the short term, helped in the medium and longer term. On the supply side, um, it's also having an effect in, in a couple of different ways. The first way is that um, investment in the industry uh, had been getting pretty aggressive and we'd seen a lot of inflation in some markets because of uh, competition for labor in both energy and in chemicals. And with the slowdown in energy, we've seen capital budgets in energy get cut pretty significantly and that's freed up some labor uh, to come over and to be able to, to help tame down that inflation um, in the petrochemical build. So the cost of capital, uh, cost of building uh, has gone down a bit. And then I think there's also the uncertainty of what ultimately happens in the oil to gas uh, energy framework that's delayed some investments on the supply side um, that also is going to ultimately tighten up the supply demand situation as we get out into the market a few years from now. Okay. And what's your assessment of uh, the current conditions of the industry? What type of growth are you expecting in 2015 for base chemicals and plastics? Yeah, so at IHS we, we start with a fundamental view of what our internal economists say in terms of overall uh, growth coming up uh, for uh, the, the various economies that, that drive. Um, our view is that the oil situation is helping the global economy by transferring purchasing power into uh, uh, countries where uh, they tend to spend more of that, of that income and away from countries where they, they tend to spend less of it. And so uh, the improving economic picture in our belief is going to help to accelerate uh, the overall demand growth. We don't think that's really going to happen until the uh, second half of the year because the first half of the year is probably still going to be uh, impacted by the fact that we forecast continuing lowering prices and so um, the inventory effects and of, of chain destocking are probably going to outweigh uh, in the first half the, the improved macroeconomic situation. But as we get into the second half we expect an acceleration so that the total year is probably likely to look better um, in 2015 than it did in, in 2014. And final question on margins and profitability. What do you expect in 2015? Yeah, so uh, the, the general uh, view is that profit levels for the industry as a whole are going to be lower than the record profits that we saw in 2014. Still very good by historical standards in terms of profit levels. Uh, I think the, the, the difference is in terms of 
of how those profit levels are distributed across the regions and across the various products. In general, what's happened is we've taken profits from the highly advantaged regions like North America and the Middle East, and we've shifted those profits into Asia Pacific and into the West European markets. Um, and in the second shift of earnings is that we've taken profits that had been concentrated in the upstream chemicals, the monomers that go into chemicals, and we move those downstream um, into the derivatives as the, the cost decline in the monomers has led to price decreases uh, faster uh, for the derivatives than they've been having to drop their prices. So some shifting of, of margins on a regional basis and some shifting of margins through the value chain. Great. Thanks very much for joining us, Dave. Uh, glad to be here. Thanks, Great. Rod. And thank you.